Hello, I just thought I'd share something that happened quite organically the other day in class. We were, um, I made a bad joke about a Beatles song and one thing led to another and we ended up um, listening to some music while we were writing and then coming and talking about the titles because we're looking at what is and isn't a valid sentence. So here's the songs that we were talking about and here's pretty much what we said. Um, we looked at All You Need Is Love to work out whether that's a valid sentence. Now, of course, lots of song titles aren't valid sentences. They don't have to be. Not everything in English does have to be a valid sentence. Um, but All You Need Is Love is one, but it's actually a bit tricky. Because some people think that need is the verb. That need is, you know, because need does look like a verb. You can need something. But then it's all you... I guess all you need and what you need is is love, but is love has got a verb in it too. Whereas in actual fact, the is is the verb. So all you need, which you could replace as it, it is love. So all you need is the subject, is is the verb, love is what you need. So love is all you need, which in fact I think is how they sing it, So which is a bit of a giveaway too. So yep, you pop a full stop on the end there and you got yourself a valid sentence. So one down. Lady Madonna. Now, Lady Madonna is all subject and no predicate. Now, you see that it's actually underlined there, and that's because, being a name, it's got to have a capital L for Lady and a capital M for Madonna, just like your name has a capital on the first word and the second word. So, although it's not a sentence, it still needs to be capitalised properly. So, Lady Madonna, not a sentence. Still a crackingly good song. Yesterday. Now, yesterday is not a subject nor predicate. Actually, it might be a subject, like yesterday was a good day, could be a subject. Or you could just say, yesterday I went to the movies, in which case it would be a dependent clause. But either way, it's not a, it's not a sentence. Next up, Hey Jude, which I notice is right there on the edge of the screen. I'll just move it across a smidge. There we go. Um, and I'll move John across a bit. We don't want to move, lose him. Hey Jude's fine as it is. It's not a sentence. Uh, it's an utterance, it's just how you get somebody's attention. Now, this is actually a little kink in English. Um, you don't have to do this on a nice short utterance, but in longer sentences you would. If you're saying somebody's name to address them, you put a comma before it. So if it was, you know, how are you going, Jude, it would be how are you going, comma, Jude. Um, but hey, Jude's short enough that you're not going to get terribly confused. And if you're punctuating this as an even an utterance, it would need a full stop on the end. But for song titles, sometimes we leave out the grammar and stuff, and that's fair enough. But hey, Jude is in fact um, an utterance. It's not a sentence because that's it's all. Um, there's the subject, Jude. Oh, there's actually it's a name even used in address. This sentence actually isn't about Jude. So let's skip on from it. Great song, but not a sentence. Next one. Baby, you're a rich man. Now, I have a deliberate error in this, and I'll stop for a tick so you can spot it. Oh, actually, I've just realised you can spot it easily because it's correct up here on the um, on the album cover. The your is not belonging to you. It is apostrophe R-E. Baby, you are a rich man. Now, again, we're talking to somebody and calling him baby, so we've got that comma up there. Look, they've actually got it in the title. So, baby, comma, you're a rich man. Now, the subject of this is actually you. The verb is you are, and what are you? You are a rich man. So, you, subject, are, verb, a rich man. So you pop a full stop on the end and you actually have a valid sentence there. So, there you have it. Let's just have a quick look at our songs. All You Need Is Love, valid sentence. Lady Madonna, all subject. Yesterday could be either subject or dependent clause. Hey Jude, utterance, but you know, valid enough. Um, baby, you're a rich man, valid sentence. And um, there we go, there's my last slide with my mock Latin on it, which I'll get rid of because we don't actually need. But that's the end of that, and I'll speak to you soon.